Steve Wynn is a known tycoon, a billionaire hotelier who has built the Mirage, Treasure Island, the Bellagio, Wynn Las Vegas, and Wynn Macau. One would suspect that a man like him would have seen it all. Yet, when standing up to speak in front of an audience, he felt that there was an experience worth sharing. Steve had dropped off his wife Jillian and daughter Elaine at the Champs-Élysées Four Seasons Hotel. In the morning, Jillian orders a croissant, rich, fluffy, and filling. It's so good that she can only eat half. The other half she decides to wrap and place in the fridge. Elaine and Jillian go out for the day. On their return, Jillian, now hungry, is excited about finishing off that half croissant she had left. She goes to the fridge, only to find out that the croissant has gone. Oh well, she thinks. Housekeeping must have assumed that the half croissant was left to be thrown away. They then notice that the hotel room phone is flashing. There is a message from housekeeping. Thank you for calling, says the housekeeper. We wanted to know when you would arrive so we could send you a fresh croissant. The one that you had left behind would have become dry by now. So impressed was Elaine that she told her husband Steve. So impressed was Steve that he called the founder of Four Seasons, Izzy Sharp, to tell him about this. Why was this so impressive? What's all the fuss? All this for just a croissant? That's the thing. It wasn't just a croissant. This wasn't about employee and customer interaction. This wasn't about service training. This wasn't about job description. This was a human being sensing, feeling, and acting based on interacting with another human being. This was a human being putting themselves in the shoes of another and doing something that anyone would appreciate if it was done for them. It might seem like a simple act, but it's simple acts like these that are the most profound.